Hey guys, it's BSRC here with RC Nightmare. This video we're going to show you how to make a parallel battery connector. Now in one of our previous videos we showed you how to make a series battery connector. That's used for adding the voltages of two packs together for your RC car. A parallel connector will add the capacities of the battery together to increase your runtime. Speed will stay the same but you'll double the runtime. So I have all the things laid out in front of me you'll need to make it. You're going to want some wire. I have mine pre-tinned. You want two male deans, one female deans, and some shrink tubing. Now I will say, first and foremost, this is a little bit higher level of soldering. So if you're not too comfortable with soldering, you may want to practice on some spare wire or try making the series connector before you do this. There are a lot of different methods to build a parallel connector, all of them being a little bit tedious. I'm going to show you one that I like the most. The reason that this is a little more complicated than most soldering that you're going to do is because you have to connect two wires to one tab on your connector, in this case Dean's. So we're going to have two red wires coming off the positive, two black wires coming off the negative. Now here's how I like to do it. So I got my two red wires pre-tinned. I'm going to take a little piece of shrink tubing, just a small amount, slip it over the end, right up close to them, and I'm going to shrink this right away. And this is going to help hold the wires together for me. So I'll stick it in my vise. And my whole goal here is to try to get the two ends of these wires tinned as if they were one. So we'll take some solder and just kind of soak the whole thing until I see that I've bridged the two wires with solder. Now you can see, now I have solder going between them. This is going to make it a lot easier to put on the Deans later. And again, the shrink tubing is going to help hold it that way for me. So you got the red done. We're going to do this exact same thing to the black wire. Just a little piece over the top. Get it right on the end. Shrink it up. Line those up. Try to make it as easy as possible for yourself now so that later on you're not struggling with it as much. I even like to angle them in a little bit at each other to help the two ends touch. Get a little solder on there. Just like that. Once again, I got the two bridged together as if they're one giant wire. Okay, so we have our wires prepped. You can see that both ends of these now are going to go to our female deans. So let's start with a black wire. Try to work with the camera a little bit so you guys can see this too. So the whole goal here is I'm going to try to melt the wire right to the Deans in one quick motion. I don't want to keep the heat on there too long and I don't want to try to put one wire on now and one later because you risk getting a cold joint. So we'll take our tip here, give ourselves a little bit extra solder. Let's see if she takes. There we go. Melt it all the way through. Let it dry. Okay, I'll take this off so you guys can see a little bit better too. So you see there I have both wires. I got them uh, soldered on at the same time so I know I got a good solid joint. And now we can take an extra piece of shrink tubing and put over the top of both of them. Now if you have shrink tubing and it's not quite big enough, a quick simple little trick, you take a needle nose pliers, you slip the shrink tubing over the end of it and just stretch it out a bit. Not too hard, but you know, give it a few stretches. And it'll still shrink up to the same size, but it's a little bit more expanded so you can fit over the top of this. Again, just like that because I have so much wire to cover, I'm going to try to help hold the shrink tubing as I shrink it up here so that it really gets over the tips of the wire. All right, so that's it for the negative. Pretty clean. I'll try the positive here. Again, the trick with this parallel soldering, because we have so much wire and solder, is to try to do it as quick as possible. We don't want to melt the Deans. We don't want to 
out the wire either. All right, so take your positive and same trick here. You can see how that little bit of heat shrinking right now, heat, heat shrink tubing is helping me right now. So those two wires, they tend to want to fall apart and it's helping to hold them together. There we go. As I wait for the solder to flow all the way through, you got to make sure you watch as the solder melts. It melts all the way to the bottom so you know you got a good strong connection. Alright, so I got my red wires on. Take a look at that. Solder flowed all the way around. Good enough. Let it cool down a little bit. We can put the shrink tubing over. Again, make sure you cover it all the way. It's going to fight me a little bit here. And some guys don't prefer shrink tubing, and that's fine. If you don't want to use shrink tubing, you can insulate your wires in many different ways. Some guys just use electrical tape. That's not the best method. Um, I've seen shoe glue used, I've seen silicone used, all types of things, but as long as you got a really good insulator over the top, you'll be okay. I don't mind using shrink tubing. Cleans up nice. Okay, so we have the start of our parallel connector finished up. This will be the connector that plugs into the ESC with the two batteries coming in. So all we're going to do now is finish it up just like normal. We got one red, one black for a male here, red and black for a male here. Don't forget the shrink tubing here. Put it on both of these right away so don't forget. And here it's a little bit easier. Now we don't have so much wire to deal with. Go. Wait for it to set. I knew that a lot of you guys uh, commented on this vise. You liked it for uh, helping with soldering, and I do too. And there's a few different ways you can uh, you can use a vise like this. At my work, I have a vise where I permanently attached a male and female deans so that I can plug in the deans I'm soldering to into the dean and it'll help hold it as well as pull away heat so there's less chance of you melting the deans. It does make for a much easier soldering job too, then you don't have to worry about the deans moving like this as you're pushing on it. Again, many different ways to do it, but having a helping hand is always a, a great idea. Okay, shrink tubing on first. There you go. Tighten her down a little bit more. Remember only a few seconds on the heat. You don't want to melt anything. That one's set up. And the positive wire. go. Make sure to keep your tip clean and well tinned. Pull the shrink wrap over or whatever you're using. And there you have it. That is a parallel connector. If you don't get it the first try, don't worry. Like I said, practice on some extra wire if you got it. This is a uh, not the easiest thing to do. I don't get it every time. A lot of times I have to restart, desolder everything, and get some fresh deans. You know, sometimes they get a little gummed up, but take your time. You know, practice makes perfect. Again, you guys have any questions, comment below or post up at RC Nightmare Forums. That's it for this video. We'll talk to you guys soon.